Hello everyone. Uh, thanks for tuning in again to another conversation with Bishop Kemi. I'm very grateful for your time and I hope our conversation today will be enlightening and encouraging. Yes, the letter that I just recently wrote to the whole diocese was basically an invitation to return to Mass. Uh, after our public suspension of the Masses, uh, during that painful time in the early months of our COVID pandemic, uh, it was impossible for the faithful to gather for public Masses, but then we, we came back in, in May, early May, to resume public Masses. Since then, uh, many people have come back, but, but also many have, have uh, stayed away because of fear or, or health issues. Um, but I wanted to take the opportunity to uh, just extend a general invitation and encouragement for the people of God to return to Mass, if at all possible. I understand that there uh, may be good reasons uh, for them uh, not to come back to Mass right away uh, because of health concerns or, or other matters. But if they could and if they were resuming other normal activity, I feel like it's so, so important that we come back uh, to the Mass because the Mass is essential for us as Catholics. That's the main point. Uh, we are uh, so blessed to have the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass uh, and, and it is the source of our grace and power that comes from God and uh, we need this. We need that, that connection with God um, throughout our lives. And so, uh, you know, our churches are all open. We're doing everything we can to keep everybody as safe as possible. We're encouraging, uh, insisting on social distancing and, um, and other, and other uh, guidelines to help people feel safe. So if they can, I just really want people to come back to Mass as soon as possible. Yes, yes, the wearing of Mass is a very controversial, very uh, divisive issue in our, in our culture and in our society. Um, I have requested and sincerely asked everybody if they come to Mass to wear uh, a facial covering, fa covering their, their nose and their mouth as, as recommended by our medical experts. I believe it is uh, uh, a simple and important step that we can all take, uh, unless there's good reasons for us that we can't or, or, or shouldn't. Um, I think it's important that we do all that we can uh, to uh, help reduce the spread of this virus. I believe it's an act of charity, a sign of solidarity and concern for all of our brothers and sisters, especially the most vulnerable. So I, I hope that people will stop seeing it as a, a, a divisional issue or, or, or something that, re, that takes away their freedom. Uh, we want people to choose in freedom to wear masks out of solidarity and love for their neighbor. And I believe that the Lord uh, is really calling us as Christians to do just that. Well, uh, I'm so happy that our schools are open and that uh, all of our students are, are, most of our students are making their way back. Some are attending virtually, of course, uh, but the classrooms are open. I'm so proud of our teachers and principals and, uh, and other staff members that have worked so hard all over, the, all during the summer to make our schools a safe place. Uh, I always wanna encourage uh, all of our students to, to do what they can to, to stay safe uh, to you know, wash their hands uh, often during the day, to wear masks, which is required in our schools, um, and uh, so that we can keep our schools open and we can keep learning and growing and, and, and following the Lord Jesus. Thank you once again, and uh, I just ask the God to bless you uh, in your life with uh, good health and peace in your hearts and, and peace in our world. God bless you.